How's it going everybody, Ben from Bunch Pokemon here. On this video, I'm gonna be opening this Pokemon 151 Elite Trainer Books. I actually got it a day early. This is the first time this has happened. I've, I usually get like booster boxes on day of release, but I've never received anything a day early. So this is definitely very nice. This was a really, really nice surprise when I get, when I got bought back home from work. So let's rip this open, man. I'm so excited for this set. This is potentially, well not even potentially, in my opinion, this is probably gonna be the best set, or at least the best English set of 2023. Of course, with all the LA Trainer books, you get this little booklet with all the cards you can get. Of course, the cards that we want to pull are like, down here, and then over here, the gold Mew, I really want to pull the gold Mew. And, wait, no, okay, I was just uh, thinking, the, um, the Mew EX Alternate Art, that is not a card in this set, actually. Because that is going to be a promo in the um, Elite Trainer Box, or in the um, Ultra Premium Collection. So with all these um, all these Elite Trainer Box, you get like these, these dice right here, these coins, these dividers. You also get, of course, the energies, a nice promo card and some sleeves. And the promo card is this Snorlax. I actually really like this promo card, it looks, it looks lovely. And the code card right here, so... Enjoy to whoever gets that one. And let me just put this aside. All right, and here we go. Nine Pokemon 151 booster packs. Man, I really love the artwork of this booster pack. I'm probably gonna buy it just like a, a loose one and stick it in my um, in my collection of like Mew, Mew related stuff. I have like a bunch of um, Fusion Strike booster packs. Because ones, the ones that of course feature Mew. So this is probably going to end up in, in that collection as well, but here we go. Pokemon 151, of course featuring the original 151 Pokemon. Let's see what we can pull here. Any of the special illustration um, rares is going to be insane because all of them are bangers. Articuno. And here is the code card. Like, all of them are bangers. I, I would dare to say that there is not a single bad special illustration rare in this. I mean, you have the um, you have the Charizard, you have the Blastoise, you have the Venusaur, you have what else? The the Alakazam, of course. You have the Zapdos. That one looks insane. And then it, it continues with the trainers. You have Erika, you have Giovanni, which Giovanni looks really really cool. But of course, you do want to pull one of the of the starters. Here we have a Charmander. A Kadabra, okay. So this is actually, I believe this is the first time that Kadabra has been reprinted in like, what, 23 years or something, or like 20 years? Something crazy like that. Oh, we've got a full art, we've got an Arbok EX. Okay, okay. We're starting it off with a full art, I'll take it, I'll take it. But surely that cannot be the only pull that we get, let's see. There's also, um, Pseudo. God packs in here. I say pseudo god packs because they're not actually god packs like, like you know them from high class Japanese sets. No, but you can. What you can pull is like the um, the evolution line of one of these three starters. So you get like both of the um, of the illustration rares, and you also get the the special illustration rare of the corresponding starter. So that's something that can happen. Probably won't, knowing my luck. But a hey, Caterpie. Okay. Yo, this is a really cool illustration. I really like this one. Really, really like this one. And we've got a chance. And we've got a holographic energy. I totally forget that these were in here. Nice. It looks like the old um, Cosmo Holo foil pattern almost. Maybe it is. That's really, really nice. I like those. The good old Cosmic Holo foil pattern. Man, okay, so we've got like two pulls. I'll count this as a pull, of course. We've gotten two pulls now. Maybe we can get like three pulls in a row. Maybe we can get the hat trick. That would be that would be insane. Let's see. Clefairy. We've got a Machop. A Porygon. Electabuzz. That looks cool. Tauros. We have another Kadabra. We have an Ivysaur. We have a Coughing. We have a Tangela. And we have a Wigglytuff EX. Okay. That is three pulls in a row. Nice talk. I, I never really have good luck with these ETBs, but this one, this one seems to be okay, honestly. We still got like five booster packs left to go, so 
Let's see what else we can get. Man. Man, oh man. Oh, also, I am I'm recording with a different setup. Well, the software and everything and like the hardware are still the same. Um, I'm just, I just bought a separate desk, you know, just for the recording and like a second key light. So everything should be, should be nice and bright. No more like bright spots over here. I guess there's a bright spot over there. But, you know, I, I feel like, I feel like, and I, I checked it, I think it looks way, way better now than it did before. We've got a cloister, metapod, and a Vaporeon. Well, we have to miss at some point, right? They can't all be winners. They can't all be winners, although I wouldn't feel too bad if they're all winners. Just put a special illustration rare on every single pack. Just put him in here. Just, just put him in here. Okay. Here is the code card, of course. Let's see. I really hope we can get a, um, a pseudo god pick, of course. That's what everybody wants. I also want to pull a, a god pick in, like, one of the high class sets. I've opened so much of, not just, like, V-Star Universe, like, of some of the old, like, V-Max Climax, um, a bit of Shiny Star V. I have never in my life pulled a, a god pack, never. Maybe, maybe with the new one releasing towards the end of the year, that will change. Um, that is what I said, that this set might be the best English set of 2023, because for Japanese, there is still the high-class set coming towards the end of the year. Probably like towards like what mid mid to end of December, probably or like early December. We'll see. Um, if I remember the name correctly, which I probably don't, I think it was like what was it, Shiny Treasures or Shining Treasures, something like that, which does imply that there will be shiny Pokemon in there. I mean, I'm here hoping for another Mew card, but I already know it's not going to happen since Mew has kind of been the focus of this expansion of the 151 expansion. Um, the Pokemon that hasn't been in the focus for for long, or like for, for a few sets here, is Rake. Well, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of Pokemon that haven't been in the focus recently, but Rayquaza, I feel like. I think the last big card that Rayquaza got was an, was an alternate art from Evolving Skies, which, by the way, is gorgeous. That's like one of my favorite alternate arts. It's also the first one I pulled, believe it or not. The first one I pulled from the only Evolving Skies booster box that I opened when I returned to the hobby. Also, that Vulpix looks, it's from Kavayo. It is from Kavayo. Thought I'd recognize that art style. This is from Dom Seeking. We've got a Butterfree. We've got a Clefairy sitting happily in a tree. We've got a Magneton. We've got a Marowak. And a other holographic energy, this time a water type energy. Man. I'm in love with these holographic energies, not gonna lie. Alright, one last Pokemon 151 pack. It was over very quickly. Let's see if we can get something really good in this last pack right here. Man, oh man. Let's see if we can get something right here. Here is the code card. We have a Bulbasaur looking happily at the sky. We've got a Slowpoke just chilling out. Growlithe. We've got a Geodude. We've got a Gloom. We've got a Duck Trio. We've got a Clefable. We've got a Butterfree. We've got a Meowth. It's all or nothing for this one. Nope, it's just a Gyarados. Man, we've gotten all of our pulls in the first four booster packs. And then the last five didn't give us anything. But hey, we walked away with a with a full art of an Arbok. Of course, not the full art I would have hoped for. You know me, I would have hoped for a for a Mew or even a full art trainer. But just seeing all of these cards and especially Kadabra that has now been reprinted, it's just amazing. Welp, but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't like it, then by all means, give the video a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you, and here is the subscribe button. You should click this one first, and then you should click this video right here. But anyways, I hope we'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace.